this is a little bit of a different video obviously I'm doing a day in the life of a work from home data scientist I work for one of the big four consulting companies and as you guys already saw I got up a little while ago I went on a quick run and then I came back home made some breakfast I'm just drinking a blueberry smoothie which is what I do pretty much every morning took a shower which is why my hair is all wet just letting it air dry and I'm about to get into my morning meetings so this is a typical day in my life as a data scientist. I start working usually around 8.30 ish. My morning meetings usually start at 9 and they go pretty much throughout the entire morning. My team is split between the US and India so we try to have all of our full team meetings packed into the morning time slot. I'm not going to get into too much detail exactly the project that I'm on or the product that I'm working for, but I am a data scientist. I specialize primarily in data visualization and reporting. And like a lot of software or tech companies, we work in an agile sprint style. So every two weeks we have these things called sprints where you have a pre-planned set of work that you are supposed to get done at the end of the sprint. And there are a couple recurring meetings throughout that time period. One being the daily stand-up calls. I'm on a couple of daily stand-up calls, which is mostly what is going to be making up my morning this morning. And for those of you who don't know, stand-up calls are just really quick calls where everyone on the team takes a couple minutes and goes through what they've worked on yesterday, what they're planning on working on today, and if you have any blockers preventing your work from being done successfully. If there are blockers, then the scrum master, which is myself on the team, will reach out to the appropriate team members or other product owners or scrum masters to resolve those blockers. It is Friday so I'm hoping that the afternoon will be a little bit quieter but we'll see and I'm excited to take you guys along. If you enjoy this kind of content, I know it's very different than my other content, let me know, give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more stuff like this then definitely let me know. So like I said, I work from home. I am fortunate enough where I can work from home the majority of the time. We do have a couple offices in the greater South Florida area where I live, but no one in those offices actually works on the same project that I work on. So it's not really worth my time to go into those offices. They're kind of smaller anyway for the most part, so it's not even so much a networking thing for me. I do travel every once in a while. Like last week, for example, I was in Colorado and Wyoming, but for the most part, that happens a few times a year and I am able to just work from home, which I love. I have a routine, I'm all set up. You can't see all my monitors right now, but I do have a nice little setup and I, I really enjoy working from home. So I'm fortunate to be able to do that. one more to go hopefully and then I'll be done for the day at least calls um, and then this afternoon I can just focus on actual like work testing development time and like I said it's a Friday so I am excited for you know having some fun later today gonna try to close up a little bit early or at least step away a little bit early but in a development role especially in the tech kind of world most times you will have to work a little bit after hours if you have any production deployments, which means any development or changes that you've done and tested in a development or UAT environment, when you push it to production, when you elevate it to production, where the client is actually able to use that new feature, that all has to be done after hours, after client business hours, but it doesn't impact the client's work and the client's ability to access the system. So even though I'll be probably signing off a little bit early today, I will have to sign on either later tonight or tomorrow to kick off a few things in production. For the most part, it's just monitoring that everything is running fine and then making sure once it's done running that it looks good in the end. Sometimes there are errors and that is why we want to do these things after hours because if something does go awry, we want to make sure that the client is not affected by it and we can spend time after hours to resolve that. So by the time the client comes back to work the next morning and uses the system, the product, whatever it may be in tech, that they are 
are not experiencing any service outage. Okay, so it's been a few hours. It's right around noon now and I'm pretty hungry, so I'm gonna take a break. I finished all of the meetings that I have for today, at least so far. I don't think I'm gonna have any more meetings the rest of the day. So I'm gonna make some lunch and then get back to work. Um, things that I've been doing aside from meetings is I've been working on a few things, I have come across a few blockers and errors that I'm trying to work through. You don't always know what the errors are gonna be or how to solve them, but in this line of work you have to have a very problem solving, critical thinking mindset to work through them and work backwards. Okay, so since it's the end of the week, I don't have a ton of food left in the house. I'm gonna go super lazy today and just make one of these Amy's soups, heat it up on the stove and put a little bit of olive oil on it. Call it a day. These are really good by the way. They're pretty clean if you're in a pinch. I do these a few times a week, so. Um, yeah, they're really good. And I know I probably shouldn't eat it at my desk, but more often than not, that's what ends up happening. So I'm gonna go ahead, take this back to the desk and enjoy lunch. Okay, hey guys, so it is now 4.30 and I think I'm gonna sign off. All I'm really doing right now is monitoring a few things run at this point and I do have to kick off a few things after hours for our clients so I'll probably end up doing that tomorrow because I don't think I'm gonna come back to my desk this evening after I go out to dinner and happy hour with my husband. That was a pretty typical work day in my life. I don't know if it's super interesting but if you are interested in what it's like to be a data scientist or work from home or work for one of the big four consulting firms. I'm more than happy to make more videos about that, answering any questions that you might have. But for now, I'm just going to close up my laptop, finish up this coffee that I made from this morning, that I have a little bit of energy to actually go out tonight, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.